Jennifer asks, you mentioned the costs are different depending on the type of care. Do all policies cover different types of care? Yeah, and, and we especially saw this in the early days. So we've talked about everything from home health care to assisted living, nursing home, and then in nursing home, there's two aspects, which is private and semi-private rooms and some of the costs associated with it. Some of the early policies, so if you do have a policy, please pull that out. We'd be happy to look at that and analyze it and do a review for you. Uh, but some of the policies, let's say for home care, they may only cover 50% of that. I've often seen that or they may cover 75% or something like that. They may not cover 100%. Same thing for assisted living. So it's important that we review your policy to make sure that it's gonna cover all the different types of care that are out there. Because there are a lot, of kind, a lot of types of policies out there, right, Brian? It's not yeah. like, um, I've seen people where they're on like really a very low cost policy and then I look and they're covering, like when I send them to your department for review, I get it back that the coverage is only for a year and a half. <laughs> well, yeah. that's not gonna go far. They would have been okay if they went into long-term care for a year and a half. Yeah, and, and this is where we really go dive into the policies. I'm not going to be, obviously, in this short period of time, be able to, to discuss everything. But just basically, just to tell you about the history of what, what the, the industry has done, is initially it came out with long-term care costs, uh, long-term care policies, and there was a cost associated with that. But those initial policies were sort of a use it or, lo or, or lose it. So you paid your premium every year, and if you never needed long-term care, then you lost all that money that never came back to you in any form or fashion. Obviously, if you went on claim, yes, you would, you would receive uh, the benefits. The industry had some grumblings from the public, so they started doing what they call hybrid plans. Now, hybrid plans are both life insurance and long-term care together, and in these plans, quite often, you can use up or accelerate the death benefit so that the, you are using that death benefit up as you're alive. Yes, your beneficiaries may not get as much, may not get the full face amount, but you've used those benefits up in the long time. And then if there's something left at the end in terms of a death benefit, that is passed on to your beneficiaries. So these are really the two types of plans that they've done. There's even a third policy out there, a type of policy, whereas it's almost like putting money from one hand to another. Whereas let's say if you have a CD with 100,000, you can put it into this type of long-term care plan, have 100% liquidity if you have an emergency, so you can grab all that money and use it as you wish. But in the meantime, you do have long-term care benefits. So on those plans, you, you, you're you not losing your money. You always have access to it. So this is for people that maybe sometimes like extra cash sitting aside just for safety reason, at least have the cash work for them on um, doing something else, even you know, because a lot of times it's just about the safety net. They're not really necessarily needing it. So um, thank you um, for joining us on this Q&A session. Thanks, Brian, also for your time. And all of you now have Brian's information. So if you need anything, you can go ahead and email or call him directly. And if you have any questions for me as well, you can go ahead and text that to me. Or as I said, you can send your questions to bit.ly slash forward ASKCW. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the new Q&A session. Have a great day, everyone.